mentality. And, and on the other end, Nunji's got a vision of what pass to make, when to make it. And of course, Fremantle, power game, step out for a pick and pop. So it'll be fun to watch the bigs as well. Good to see that Marquette fan behind us just made it in time for tip off, showing up a little late. Starting lineup sponsored by Jeep. There's only one. Same lineup all year for Marquette, including a tremendous surgical passer in Kolek. Finds people, has a feel for the game. Ball always gets back in his hands at decision time. And Sule Boom, the transfer, has been exceptional from the free throw line, closing out games recently. I don't question his ability. The 16 of 17 the last couple of games, but reads the D and gets in the lane and is creative. I know how much you love that basketball this is a tremendous environment i love this arena uh, kids are all jacked up two high level programs going at it in right now he's a bit eddie you got a little marquette minimum we certainly do marquette and xavier first place on the line in the big east boom creating zach Fremantle, who was quiet wednesday night as the opening two Open middle for cuts and drives because of Oso. Nice little quick little bump for an open look. Well, he got the look he wanted, just missed it too strong. Kolek did. Xavier scores 84 and a half points a game. Marquette at 83 and change. Jack Nungie was a demon on the offensive glass the other day. Through Kunkel to Jones in the corner, and his floater is no good. Uh, you can mix it up, Kenny. You know, you make deep, put it on the deck. Got that float game. He had a big 20, and a lot of it in the second half. Big shots for Colby Jones the other night against Creighton. And Cam's another one of those guys that can go either way, make deep ones. Omax in the lane. Good defense by Jones. Yeah, he just walled up on Prosper. Late in the shot clock, under 10. Oh, man, Cam Jones. Boy, he can bring some rain, too, with that elevation and arc. Big time delivery. How about that three from Cam Jones? And now an interception, and here comes Marquette the other way. The pass up to two. He's also so clever with the ball. Prosper into the lane to reverse it up and in. How about that drive? Pretty aggressive. How about the combination of Prosper and Iguodaro and what they can provide? Yeah, it's incredible, really. Uh, the passing ability and obviously the attack mode at the rim. Both clubs are so well prepared. No one will know his weaknesses, shortcomings, and of course the look at this duck, and that's too easy. Nancy, yeah, just couldn't handle the ball. These are very good passing teams. Two top ten teams in the country in assists. Xavier number one, Marquette opening the day, number eight. Well, automatic switching on the perimeter gives him a good look, too. Oh, uh, splash down again. Look a little shorter on that switch. I think you got to stay at home if you're Jones. Cam Jones has 52 threes this year, 36%. Ooh, Uncle travel. Yeah. Good call. Well, you saw it before I got did. the whistleblower early oh, yeah. here. That's right. Uh, just really two teams that move the ball around. You got to get him. He can drive it, but you still got to be there on the catch. Dude, this is that switch that cost him. Uh, Kunkel jumping or as Jones follows out switch. I think he's got to stay at home on him. I, I have to imagine that's going to start happening now as he's hit too early. He's going to go for another. He gets it going. Unabashed, would you say? A little nickel dimer. Oh, Max. Very unabashed. And Shaka Smart has this Marquette team. We saw them early in the year against Baylor. And they absolutely trounced a very good Baylor team. How about the defensive effort right now by Marquette? Uh, it's interesting. He, he still gets full court pressure, three quarter court pressure. But they look like the old days at PCU. But they still are solid defensively. A little high roller, nice entry pass from the wing. Fremantle rimmed it out. Pretty good seal and emptied that backside. You figured he would be a little louder today after being very quiet the other day. And Cam Jones just has the entire arsenal working for eight early. Unbelievable. He can go either way, too. So he take away that dominant hand. Just twice this year in this single digits. Yeah, it is. He can dribble drive. Oh, to the tip. 
Desmond Claude, the freshman, only three and a half points a game, but seen some more minutes recently, and that's going to be a foul on Fremantle. Yeah, Fremantle with the nickel dimer with the hands, and, and the other a nice seal to get Claude to the rim. Let's take a look at Sean. Second stint back, 04 to 09. He had the Elite 18 a couple years before he left. And uh, you watch Sean Miller and what they do in shoot around and what they do in practice. I mean, he is truly fun to watch as a teacher with the pace he provides. Demanding, really. Of course, we spoke the other night about his dad being a coach, his brother a coach. Nobody asked me back for a second stint. Nothing to defend it. Well, how long you've been doing TV? This is like well, about 40 years, I think. Yeah, well, well, they said keep doing it till you get it right. Here's Cole, like wide and open for three. And the Shaka thought they would let him shoot it, put a little pressure on him, but he is making those deep threes of late. So I wonder what they do defensively if Cole does start to make some threes. And he's got Jones on. That's a tough assignment for him. Suley Boom couldn't get around Cam Jones. Chaka Smart first to the bench. He's brought in Chase Ross. Nice play by Oso with the big hand. Jones for two. Tough shot. The belly bump and still knocked it down. Uh, he's not worried about contact, that's for sure. Jones nice did a two-man game, and it's beautifully delivered. Man, really nice on that empty side, too. Big-time finish. First two for Igadaro today for Marquette. Both comes in a nice shot with his dribble handoffs. Just nice dump. Pretty. Three minutes over for two for both. A little counter punch. Very similar that play. Looked very similar, didn't it? Marquette's opened six for eight from the floor so far. Just great execution from the Golden Eagles. So it does keep his dribble alive. Nice spin out. How about that? Trying to lock it up. It didn't get on the glass. Jerome Hunter's checked in for Sean Miller. He's really done a nice job, too. Just offensively hitting the glass. Freeman with a nice rebound. One-handed rebound and two more. Fremantle has six. And he elevates his game. They are a different club. He gives them such a valuable commodity. Jones the pitch out, extra pass, Cole at drive, looking to pass as he normally does. Nice, Jackman can drill him. Missed that one, and cannot track his own rebound down, Fremantle's there. No stoppages, just free <laughs> and easy. Yeah, Hunter inside, really good offensive rebounder. They double Fremantle with Igadaro. he wrapped it around down the baseline, Sule Boom missed the three. Kolek shortens that floor, doesn't he? Nice pass. What a catch by Jones. Who was in traffic? Man. That's off the leg of Fremantle. Redirected back out to Igadaro. Kolek down the lane. Couldn't score. The only people who don't enjoy this start to the game are our advertisers <laughs> who aren't getting their opportunity to say hello to you. And the vendors. Here's Hunter. And he scores. Playing within his style. Well, what an adjustment. He used to check those screens we talked about yeah. the other night. And now only one needed. Ten points a game, his last five for Hunter, about nine and a half. Chuck went down the lane, and a foul call. It looked like he might have traveled. We'll step aside, but we don't want to. Exactly. Of course, Chaplin can shoot it. Then. Well, you hug him and put it on the deck, but can't. What Nunji does, Kunkel has come back in. Hunter is playing down low, so they'll go a little smaller yeah, here. But, and Kunkel's the key, I think. He brings some energy to this team. And a little bit of a tough cover, too. And Jones on the floor can really get after people. And there's one thing about Marquette, too. They can turn it up a notch. That was the first free throw for either team, and one for two. For Joplin, 16-12 Marquette. Only one team left unbeaten in Biggie's play. That's Xavier and White. And they overload and back cut. That is pretty. They didn't get what they wanted. No, Boom didn't take the shot. It's Kunkel in the corner. And he rips a three. Nice pass. That's what Nunji does. Great vision. The size to deliver the impact by Kunkel. 
He's had a couple of big shooting games this year. 40% from three-point range for the season, Kunkel. See how they lift Oso now? This gives them room to do some damage with the ball screen, the cut, the dribble drive. You gotta stay at home because he will find people if he doesn't have it. Like that. To the wing. Over boom. That is an air ball for Marquette and Sean Jones. Those Cubs get it down with 25 seconds to run on clock. Nice stuck in by another foul here by Joplin. And Hunter scores it plus that foul. Uh, if you're gonna go down, you gotta go down wholeheartedly. You just can't slap as Joplin did. And just go down there with both hands. You see that reach in, trying to help out Kolick. The confidence that Jerome Hunter is playing with is otherworldly compared to what we saw at Indiana. Yeah, no question. I just thought he jacked some shots up in opportune times, but you know, it's all, all about coaching. You know, taking advantage of your talents. Free throw, 76% for the year, and Xavier now at a 12-1 run. As we see, Kiki Tandy, he can make some threes. He plays 12 minutes a game, but Sean Miller has been a little bit wary of going to him early in games. We just haven't seen him a whole lot this year. As that gets to the corner, misses everything. Last two to set him up. Oh, looks so good just getting a touch in the lane. Doesn't waste any time. Old-fashioned chest pass. And shock has got his guys really playing well. Their only Big East loss, that double overtime loss to Providence earlier this year. Same play as before. Out of foul against Marquette and Ross. His first. Those guys do a great job of overloading and then reversing the ball, reversing the action to the other side. But it is a tough cover. For folks uninitiated, why does the ball reversal help? Why is that so well, important? Because you, you go from help side to strong side. And, it, and it, again, the, ball, the two man plays on this side, you've got to jam it up again. So it, it can really get confusing. Into the post here, Nunji. Turning and he got oh, smothered. This kid's gonna be a nice player. He can make shots, pick and pop. I saw him back cut a few times early in the year. Gold on the drive here, lost the ball on the way up, and it's out of bounds. Oh, he, thought, he thought he got a hit out of his hand. But it's what we talked earlier about the passing of these teams. They find people, make the extra. That you thought would be a better coach than you. <laughs> well, that would take all 12 of them. <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> no, we, we had some kids who would come in, and Danny Caligula comes to mind who's very vocal about somebody not rebounding or not covering. And good teams have that. Usually a good sign of a healthy clubhouse, healthy locker room. Come to a little hesitation. That's wiped away again by Gold. Yeah, he's playing well. Good hustle. Jones in control, missed it strong. Nunji cleans it up and scores. Oh, they both picked up a foul that other end. I thought the ball was knocked out of his hand prior to our commercial break. Yeah, they called a charge on yeah. Gold. His first. Uniform shot and put it on the deck. He can he can elevate that post. Nice hands by Jones. Nunji just crowbarred it away to lead to a tie-up. Marquette will have it. We're going to use your per diem to get a light illuminated on the other side on the possession <laughs> arrow. It's tough to come up with. Very faint. You think that'll cover the cost of it? Maybe. Bulbs are not cheap nowadays. True. Supply chain issues, you know, as, as has happened. 20 to 16, Sean Miller. As Xavier playing as well as anybody in the Big East. They are both of these teams doing great out of bounds play. A deflection there, but a cut. That's because Oso's outside, opens up an opportunity at the rim. Yeah, it's interesting to see how Marquette plays it compared to Kalkbrenner and Creighton. Right. With the way they look their big. Interesting. They, they drop him, drop coverage. He protects the rim. This and kid is having so much. Wow. Offensively, so clever and adept. Ten for Jones. Lee Mantle still on the bench with two fouls. Kiki Tandy left it short. Jones scores it and the foul. 
And also, I think it's the foul. And he cleaned it up, and it cost him. But a three-point shooter putting it on his deck and being creative certainly helps the cause. Of course, Nunchi's waiting for the kickback. And right here, instead of grabbing it, also slapped it. He's going to get both hands on that. He thought he was guiding it to a teammate, but there was nobody there. No, I'm not saying you're wrong. You I, must be related. What to him? A great, yeah. I mean, you're seeding that fact. Yeah, I'm, I'm lobbying for him. <laughs> Big bad Bill Raffer, he was obviously being critical. Just kidding. No, not this kid. I love the way he plays. No, he's fantastic. Here's the two man game with two great passers. There you go. Arrow. That makes up for that blunder at the other side. 22 20. Xavier with the lead. Sule Boom thought about the catch and shoot. Instead, he feeds Dungey. How about that pass mark? That's why this team went to 21 assists a game. That is extraordinary what they're able to do game in and game out. Boom couldn't collect it. Mitchell does. Into the corner. And another three. It's Kohler. And somebody must have said something to him on the bench because he turned. Uh, he has worked on that stroke confidently. How fun has this game been so far? It always is. Nice play defensively again. It just got smothered, and let's see, it did go off the leg of a Marquette player, Gazzaro. I think they were saying he was out of bounds uh, when it hit him. A dribble drive, and just that little hesitation kids have, but what a presentation. He's a rock in there, isn't he? He's really so is. mobile. And you saw a lot last year. He is so much better than he was last season. Great improvement. Jackson is playing confidently, making free throws. Cole cleans up the rebound. That was a fourth block for Marquette already in the game, by the way. Cole is so much fun to play with because he gives the ball up. Biggest nice, nice touch. And he let those two guys go to work. Two. And oh, so good. It's almost like Iguodaro is frustrated with himself that he didn't get that one rebound, and he has taken it into his own hands. Now this kicks away from Kunkel. Pretty taken by Marquette, and Prosper finishes. Turnovers key, as noted earlier. Easy baskets. Quick seven in a row for Marquette now. Back and forth we go for first place in the Big East. We track the same one of the timeouts there that they made their run. Oh, let's get going a little bit. And this is the end you get going. Nice cut. Claw, back door, missed it in traffic. Oh, what a rebound by Jones. Kunkel in rhythm. That's dangerous. And he missed it for three. How about a rebound here? It's Nunzi. And a foul. Oh, really hustling on the glass. Others are going to have to help also on that rim, too. This kick out. You know, good shooters shoot it soft enough that you can go chase it. And Lungy with a great read and understanding. That's two on Iguodaro. How about Nunji on Wednesday? Eight offensive rebounds basically won them the game. Isn't that amazing? It's just a really good understanding of the game itself. 12 rebounds in total that night as well. So now Fremantle has two. Iguodaro has two. And they play very small right now. They open the middle. On the dribble drive. The hesitation from Kolek. Wants to dance in the lane. He got it. Now he understands what he has to do. If you overhelp, he's going to find almost Villanova-ish. Where you get a piece of the lane and find somebody. That is a great point. He had a game earlier this year, 15 assists, no turnovers, which is just unheard of. I think the rest of there was 17 by Miller a few years ago. Mm -hmm. No turnovers, too. That's the exceptional part of it. Just wild. Jones got the closeout, finds his way into the lane, and scores! Nice patience and presence. We have simultaneously great team offense and individual performances so far. Well, you're going to see a lot of dribble driving here with this group. This is lunchtime basketball. Little moon ball. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. How about that? An old time maneuver and some religion. I mean, that was as clever as can be from Kohler.
Boone wants the ball, got tipped away from Jones, 10 to shoot. Nice hands. Stevie Mitchell from behind got it twice, finally plucked it, and Marquette has made seven straight as Jones misses for the first time in a while. Well, that was up for grabs. Boone doesn't need it. Oh, wraparound deflection by Jones. It ends up out of bounds. Uh, that's their, right, their mantra, deflect, mm -hmm. and you shall conquer. <laughs> but, but how about this kid? A little dipsy do here. A little old time. Not to pass on the, to the switch guy or the dribble drive. So uh, pretty clever. It sounds like an ISO, too. One side of the floor overloads on the other. We'll watch this possession. Sule Boom off the inbound. Missed it. An air ball. And a nice set, too. A double screen on that side. Stagger. These guys are both pretty good set plays, right? Yeah, they, they both do when they have to. But they also have been free wheel. He's being about free man back on the floor, too. He's got to be careful. Good challenge here. But late. That's a tough cover for him. And Joplin a little more mobile. See if they can get Freeman involved here. That was Kolick on the pass, by the way, to Joplin, as expected. Mm -hmm. Such an adept passer. Now Fremantle fighting with Joplin. Is he as good as Chris Paul? You think? Passing? I think probably uh, better right now. Boom for two. First bucket for Sule Boom. They need him. Yeah, when when he's been quiet, uh, this doesn't happen. Oh, this, very well. easy. this kid, he did that open middle. Fun time, play time. Nobody. Kolek, a willing passer, a willing shooter, does everything for Marquette. A five-point lead. Boone's only had one game under double figures this year, Bill. This is where they got to go, I think. Consistently. Freeman gets another or Hunter? Two. And it is Hunter. Hunter. Nice little get back here. You can just see Freeman overzealous in his hedge. And uh, this kid, this is playtime. Take a look that left a little bit. Make him go the other way. So what do you do as a defender there? You just got to... Oh, you got to move your legs and contain and make him at least go one way. You know, take one way away, force him the other. And also you got a hand hedge here too. Look at this. It's right it's there for us. He dropped it off Prosper. And Sean Miller is just livid over on the sideline. Uh, this, this is so simple right now for Marquette. Uh, they've got Fremantle on the, on the string a little bit. That open it is. may be questionable. Input. This guy, he's got more energy on that sideline, doesn't he? Look who's in the background there. It's uh, Scott Kuykendall over there, too. The brain it's trust. Good to see he got up. <laughs> Here is Xavier in a travel against Hunter. So they are out of sync right now. Sean on the sideline wants guys to do some different things, pointing for cuts. In action. You see him turn to his bench. You've done that as a coach. You turn to the guys that aren't in. You say, well, you can't do that. There's tipped away by Munji. Here comes Hunter the other way. To the rim. Missed it. Rebound tipped out and taken by Prosper. When well, you turn to the bench as a coach, you're hoping there's some answer there. <laughs> Once again, the ability to turn the corner. Denied by Jones. Yeah, nice shot by Jones. That's moving his legs. See if Sule Boom can create. Oh, he just discarded and missed a three. Hunter couldn't clear the rebound. You gotta watch Jones early, though. He's the one jacking it up. Smart to beat Kolek there, driving right by Hunter. Creating a kick and the extra. That is Jones. Missed pretty, pretty, though. Think attack a little. There you go. Side saddle. That's his play. That's very well. Pump fake. You bite. Space drift. A little juice for the fans. Yeah, they've been a little quiet. This is a heck of a home court advantage. Pull up the drive. And he finishes again. He's having a ball. I mean, it's uh, summertime, huh? And the living is three. easy. Right. You don't want that. Only if you're going to be the front man. 
Jones sized up the three, missed it strong, and the tip went out of rebound. Another chance, another one. Nunzi's going to the foul line, and he can't believe he didn't get two out of one of those. I, I like him camping down there, though. I mean, they got to get some offensive rebounds, get some energy going. But the other side, uh, just the ability to put it down. Finding people who can drill shots. This kid, so clever, creative. He's got a nice pace to his game too. Because he sort of lulls you, you don't realize he can step it up a little bit. Well, I, I am happy to say he's a man of his word, too, because he came over here pregame to the scorer's table to our, to our position, and you asked him if he's got a couple of passes tonight, and he said, I got you. So he's taking care of you. He's, he's got a few passes every game, doesn't he? It's a nice. joy to watch. A good kid to play with, I'll tell you that. You just got to be ready. He's going to get it to you. Here he is, steering Marquette's offense through Jones. A lot of minutes here in the first half for Ben Gold with Igadaro in foul trouble, and that's a foul against Claude. Yeah, unnecessary. Chris, you've got to be there on the catch with Jones. He's not afraid to drill him. That was just the fourth foul on Xavier in the half, so it's basically uh, without any harm. Gold can drag Nungi away from the hoop, too, because he can pick him. Look at, look at this kid. He's really having a ball. And all he's going to his left. At some point, you're going to have to say, hey, I'm taking that away. You beat me right, so be it. A little stack play there. That was really for Gold to go to the box, a back screen to get him out of the way, but stuffed nicely by Xavier. You just see Sean's over there saying, move your feet, move your feet. Well, Gold, essentially, there was like a lead blocker. Yeah, he was. They stuffed it up. Rare miss from the line for Kolick. Six-point game. And here is Claude, the freshman for Xavier. Uncle wanted to take the three. Wasn't there. Jones on the move to the rim. And he could extend fully, too. So he yeah, his guile there, moving. Big guy was moving. Standing offensive execution again. Jones really lost the ball. Got it up toward the rim, and Mitchell had the rebound. He was fouled. And Jones may have walked a little bit on that play, you think? You think so? He took a couple extra ones, though. Nice little drive by him earlier, though. That full extension here. Watch how he just unloads all the way quickly. Leaks go right to the 10. Ball was on Jones, his first. Jones playing him now. Look at this, going left again. He split two and scored. Call it one more time. Unbelievable how clever. His deployment. By Marquette's extraordinary, too, giving him room to roam. It's there and available. Kunkel looking for a three, not there, on the drive, down the lane. Two more for Kunkel. And it was a seal by Nunzi that opened it up for him. Clever by the big guy. These bigs and guards playing so well in tandem, huh? They sure do. Hey, they made him go right a little bit. He got rid of it, and it's a discard and a foul against Chase Ross. Must have stuck his arm out on the opposite side of us. Where they don't really have to run any offense. It's just dribble drive. One play after the other. Yeah, they use the strength a little bit. Looked like Kunkel wasn't really in a legal, a legal guarding position, but he, he was early on. Was an aisle. Down the lane, Ross left it short, snared by Jones on the counter punch for Xavier. Into Kolek on the kick. Kunkel in the corner, missed it for three. That was big. You felt the crowd yeah, you did. Field. Bodies everywhere, it's a block on Kunkel. Kunkel does bring energy, though, trying to draw the attention of Riff. The other end had that good look. A little bit tired, I think. I just saw him wind it. Got a piece of him. He was a tough kid. Dad was a football player. That's oh. right. Yep, at Kentucky. Kentucky. 
That one looked more like an offensive foul than the last one, but I'm not here to evaluate the official. Well, you're certainly doing here. a poor job. Well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm evaluating it. Thank you. Free throw is good for Prosper. Good to see John Cal here in the building. Yeah, speaking the game. of good officials, commissioner of officials for the Big East. A good man. The coaches like him because he understands. That's why coaches like you too. <laughs> Second one is good. Prosper gives Marquette a six-point lead again, 46-40. This kid's a talented guy. Good offensive rebounder. Always in that attack mode. Can make some threes. A little three-quarter action. Shaka going with Igadaro for the last minute and a half here in the first half with two fouls. He's just let him go though. He's smart enough. Attack. Hunter does. And score. Also, it's not going to be a factor defensively. Just not working. Yeah, he doesn't want to foul. Pollock to kick into the corner. Coming down to a minute to go and an entertaining, dazzling first half in Cincinnati. A two-man game with two great passers. Pollock. Nice play, Nudgy. Pollock again. Stoops at him. Goodness. How many of him are on the floor right now? Just amazing. He is in the right place always. He's made his own last eight shots. Hunter, smart attack. Oh, so he's not going to get number three. Nice shot time, I think. Cole has got 20 in the first half. Right? You know, Shock is touching him and he's out of bounds. That, that's a turnover. That's very interesting. Shock is smart over on the sideline. Look at a chest. <laughs> If it looked more like shoots and ladders, you would have been okay. Yeah, that would have been yeah. fine. But that's the advancements they've made. We've seen so many buildings with the different TVs and how they utilize mm -hmm. technology. It's just incredible. Breakdowns of plays and players. Sean Miller telling his guys to get the arms up. And they're going to trap him now. There's the ball to pull its hands. Ross rimmed it out. Three seconds here for Jones. He's got an eye on the clock and has a chance. He just missed it. Well, he was looking to. Was he? Heads up play. How good is it? has got Kolek. The one that has been singing along. They're not the only one. Zach Fremantle came over. He was singing along. Well, he's nice and loose. Got a good rest. And see if he can provide a lift. When he's on top of his game, they are a different team. He had six early, came out of the shoot hot, and then the foul trouble kept him very quiet late in that first half. Nice play out of the gate. It's Nunji to finish. And they ran an elevator play on one side, reversed the ball to a back cut. That was beautiful. Cam Jones riding it into the lane. Prosper a little shimmy. No, it's a trap to boom. Taya. Going to stay with Marquette. There's so many things that they did out of the gate. Great preparation. And here's the little elevator. Close the door. Ladies lingerie. A little back cut. Next extra pass. Pretty good set. How'd you get the yellow cone on the screen? <laughs> That's amazing. You're a wizard. <laughs> I have not been called that before. It was the first time for him. Look at this. Kolek will stop and score against a really good defender. All right, so you said got to stop the dribble drive. Yep. What do you do with him? Well, you got to move your feet. Jones got to the rim. Lungy tipped it. And here's Kolek again. This is where he's tough. Gives it up early, lets people do their damage. <laughs> Rebound for Fremantle on the miss for Prosper. Busy hands by Mitchell to play the play. He is a good defender, that kid. High low. To the work now. Nice spin out. Tipped out by Nunzi off the miss from Fremantle. Jones for boom. Shot fake and drive. And nice pull up and control, too. 
Set his balance. Drilled it. Sule Boom, only a couple made field goals in this game. Jones a little early again on the three try. Pretty good start right here by Xavier. Sound. There's a little high-low action. I like this call, too. Get those big guys involved with the pressure. Omax trapped and sealed and paying for it. There's a little free control here. Terrific help by Jones, too. That's a straight-line drive. He shut it off, forced a deeper one. That's so funny. We were talking about it the other night. Just because the offense is good doesn't mean the defense is bad. Screen the start on that out of bounds play, well covered. Well, look at the hand in to disrupt Jones. Boom off the nudgy screen. Sule Boom. He went under and paid for it. Hardy on the recovery. Timeout, Chaka Smart. Now let's see, let's see. I, I, I believe we might have a clock in plus 22 seconds, so 17.48 is where they'll put it. They take away Kolick's driving game now. This is where he can spin a yarn, get some others involved. I've got warded off. These two together are dynamite. Iguodaro and Pollock on the kick to the corner. Here is Jones against Sule Boom. He wheels, he fires, and scores. That is a big time post up. I think there's something awry, whether it's blood or something on Kobe Jones. Boy, it was that a post move? Well, he really set him up. He uses the opponent's body to buoy himself and deliver. Big time kiss them. Did the mix threes? Uh, the the skill level offensively as they work on Jones. The skill level offensively we've seen in this building Wednesday and Sunday of this week is tremendous. And you add the athleticism too uh, to complement their savvy, their skill level. They're pretty extraordinary. Pretty good cut man in the corner here, Xavier. Didn't take long. That was fast. Round three bell rings, and here is Bull. 30 Pacheco. 30 the fight doctor. Three man for the left it in. I think this is the format now. You can see the adjustments that Sean has made at halftime. Again, riding that same side there. Ball up to the right hand, dropped it off, and we'll get a foul down low. Attempt by Mitchell. Now there's no assist, but how about Kolick set up there? You know, he just so many ways he can destroy your defensive principles and the ability to cut too, because you know he's going to find you. Nice read, chance at the rim. Mitchell with two. They get Nunji on the foul, his first, and Mitchell with his first point. The sophomore out of Reading ties the game. This year, four games with 11 or more assists already on 18. It just uh, feels the game. This has a good sense of what to do, when to do it. So smart, cat. Yeah, in his own look. Uncle Diagonal got it to the corner. Joe. How about that? Good ball movement. Flash the pigs to the line. And Jones missed the response. A tough match, too. Fremantle running to the rim. See if he seals and they find. Wide open drive. Boom got it back tap. Digadaro back to Boom. Hands everywhere. Nunji saves the day. What a play. How about that? Get it to the guards. Punkle, and that's a foul. It's on Cole. Good try, but the right call. How about that effort by Nunji, huh? Woo! Iowa's contribution to the Cincinnati area is very active, keeps it alive. Chase, how about the speed and strength? 
wonderful to watch. Think about everything he has been through in life in a very short time. Nungi, such an impact player. Boom, extra, Kung Fu. Missed it for three. How about the checkout, too? Mitchell. Good ball movement. Kohler. Missed the three. An early tee up from Kohler. Nicely run offensively by Xavier. Nungi to five. Jones missed the three. Fourth, Marquette and Xavier for first place in the Big East. Jones starts dancing. He does some damage. Look at that kick. Arrow, it should be a kick. It is. Kick ball. On Igadaro as it got fished out by Nungi. He is everywhere. Oshaka looking for an explanation. But that now as he's transferred from Iowa and just uh, a really... Neat kid to watch for us. Again, the Masters of our Masega. Indeed. Right? In the county. Maybe you could use some help in that area. Yeah, I just counted the 20 on television without any nerves still. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing what that degree does for you. Back screen pop. Two-man play. They're using Nungie. Playing small again. Jones for Hunter. Tower move down the lane for two. Once again, using his ability, staying close to the 10. That's 11 again for Hunter today. Let's see if Iguodaro can get back in rhythm. That's Nungie, and he got fouled by Nungie. That's two on Jack Nungie. Well, you can see the speed of Iguodaro there. Just a little space on that end line and blown by. Sean Jones, the freshman back in. Uh, Shaka Smart said after the UConn game, this is why we need two Iguodala. Mm -hmm. He was so good against Connecticut. Joplin buries a three. Where were you? You know that's his game? You want to force him to put it on the deck. Big time delivery. I don't have an answer for where they were. A uh, 40% three-point shooter. So Jones can really rag you out here on the defensive end. Right now to Sule Boom, and he got called for the foul. Sean Miller was lobbying for it. Overzealous. Shaka feeling that he did a great job getting them back near the end of the half against UConn from 11 to 4. This is a pretty good mentor. They have formed a bond, Oso Igadaro and Marcus Howard, all time leading scorer at Marquette. That's high praise. Mm. And boy, could he fill it up. Nice ball fake. Burns pass deflected by Cole. Jones recovers. Seven to shoot. Uncle hands in midair. On the redirect. One legged missed it. It's a little bit like the shot he made a couple of years ago to beat Marquette. Which, I remember Freeman hugging him. Going off the floor. Again on the catch. Hunter right there this time. Reset it with Jones, the freshman. On the step back. Look at this pretty move. Everything's right when he got blocked by Jones out of bounds. Eight to shoot for Marquette. Size, size prevails. Uh, pretty good D on a quick kid, but defensively, team bigger. Raising the hands when they have to on passes. Getting deflections. Forcing a deep, late attempt. Jones running hard off the screen to the corner. Boom, right there with him. Igadaro against Nunji. And a good piece of officiating, too. Body search, big time climax. Marquette by one. Hunter got caught in midair. Nunji. Comes up with it again. Yes, he does. Kunkel in rhythm. Got it. Oh, that's so tough. Yeah. And Hunter ends up out of bounds with the ball. Nice pass. Boom. A little extra look. Gave Kunkel a clean opportunity. Nice little bounce pass and just love. Protecting the ball, using that body to help you. Year three in the program for Igadaro, and he has grown and grown and grown under Shaka Smart the last couple of years. His intelligence level, his IQ about the game is guard like, point guard like. Such a valuable sheet 
shifting player. Here is Polo. And that's going to be a foul on Jones on the reach in. He pinned his arm down, and that's a good call by Paul Sells on the near side. And well, the dilemma, I think, for Xavier is when they bring Oso high, how are you going to contain this dribble drive? Uh, he has just broken that defense, dismantled it. Same play for another Jones. Pollock has to go high against Jones. Always trying. Missed that one short. It's tipped out to the sideline and captured by Joplin. Got the feet set and missed it. Igadaro gets a hand on it. How about that? Jones. Hard drive. Met by Menji. Big time presentation. This game, the emotion, the energy, and Sule, boom. Hunter on the weak side, missed time to jump. Yeah, what happens when you go to block the shot, you open up the offensive rebounding. I think Polak wanted Joplin to touch that ass here. Instead, the cut down the lane. Igadaro's floater is good. What a find. How about that? Presence of mind by Joplin. High level stuff. <laughs> Making plays too, being creative, taking what the D gives you. Nunji against Igadaro. He beat him to the rim, and it's going to be a foul on Igadaro. That's number three. And Nunji doing a lot of nice things, huh? How about this? <laughs> Impressive. And you didn't pay for a ticket. No. Oh, so, you know, with the third, taking a little bit of a blow. Yeah, Igadaro's been effective, but you said it with him off the floor. They played well, too. They sure have, and it's because of number 11. Pollock's been outstanding. Nunji misses the free throw. Xavier 73% as a group from the line. That's 138th in the country. Nunji a little bit below that. And it's one for two here. He gets a little bit of a blow during the play. Just one big. And Fremantle has gotten out of that foul trouble zone. He's got two with 11.45 to go. A little zone look now. Maybe get some offensive rebounding going. Split. Let's see. Now we're back to man. Nice little twist. He's got what he wants here, I think. Either way. We well, gave it up against both Fremantle and Hunter. Here's Prosper on the kick to the corner. Cole is down the back door. Wrapped it around out of bounds. A laser and a turnover. They really never got that set organized very well. Prosper really got a little bit too deep. Strung the play out. You like the wrinkle by Sean Miller there defensively. Yeah, no question. And then he went to the man, which was intriguing. First time they've done that. Rolling toward us. Here comes Fremantle down to the deck. He ends up getting the ball, and it's out of bounds off of Marquette yeah. and Joplin. Yeah, Joplin was right there. Nice play by Fremantle. I saw you reaching to protect me here <laughs> as they came flying over. Watch how big guys go down for it easily. Yeah. Smaller guys, they dive right on top of it like a fumble in football. Good to see, though. Hopefully, everybody's okay. Well, I mean, Fremantle plays a thousand miles an hour. He does. Again, I, I think he's one of those, when he's on top of his game, everything's in sync for the Xavier team. Two point game. Lost oh, nice Great defense. Punkle still beat him. And no size to the gate at the rim. Good read. Thunderous student section to the right. Joplin, really tough shot. Different team out here for Marquette without Kolick on the floor. Step through. Help from Jones. Somebody's open. It's Hunter at the foul line. He missed it. What a job by Freeman. He gets the back. Gets it back. That was all his play. He steps it up. Gives him a run. Pollock's not going to get much of a blow. He just went out for like 10, 15 seconds. 
A different team with him on the floor. Get you home safe and sound. Yeah, the two blocks in a hotel. Couldn't couldn't make it last night. Uh, you didn't want to pay for a full one, I guess. No, that's right. <laughs> I figured that was coming there sometime. 63-61. Uh, Xavier by two, about ten minutes to go in this game for first place in the Big East. And right back in the game, look at this pass. This is incredible. Draws to the ability to find somebody with the correct pass big time. It's like he's got a magnet on him. Right. The way he pulls defenders, Igadaro ties the game. That's his sixth assist. Watch Hunter on the glass. Now he's outside. Tough pass. Tough High low deny. Too deep. That was a real chance for Fremantle there. The early blow screen here. Bullock rips a hard pass to the wing. And it's left just short. Tipped out. Ball on the ground. A battle for it off the miss from Mitchell. And this tie-up is going to go to Xavier. Now, we're mystified. We've watched this a couple of years now. Uh, just so creative in finding. Look at two with the overhelp. And, you know, Hunter, obviously, Fremantle going over to block it. And that bears, even if he shot it, he got a weak side rebound as well. So, clever play. Well, that's what I was going to say. What do you do? Because if you don't bring help, he's probably going to beat you left, right? Right. Well, I think you've got to at least take that initial side away somehow. And no, he can go right, but he has just been so effective with his dominant hand. Nice string out, and look at the dive by Nunji. That is pretty basketball. His string out by Oso Igadaro, and he pays for it too. Not, no attention in the back here on the roll guy, sort of committed to protecting his kick out. Fortunately for Marquette, they'll get Polick on his second. And Nudgy's got some blood on his shirt. He's like, I just want to play. Somebody take care of this, please. Where's my corner man? <laughs> How do you get blood there? Oh, they've been diving around. It could be on somebody's hand, you know, on a checkout. I'm not a physician. I'm just observing. Okay. Do you have further thoughts on that? Not a doctor? <laughs> Nungi will go to the line. He's four for five today. His 14th career double-double. Now they're having some fun with his wardrobe. He always has trouble. That shirt is too short for him. Would you call it a smedium? <laughs> Pretty much so. He's a lanky kid. First one is there. Nip and tuck all the way. Don't you get that feeling? Oh, it's going to come down to a final possession mm -hmm. again. And by the way, doesn't get any easier for Marquette. They play Providence at home on Wednesday. As Nungy oh, has to redirect off a call like it's Xavier Ball. I mean, he's doing all the little things. Whoa. We talk about his knowledge of the game. He's just so active. Anticipate here. Slap it away. Heads up. Oh, yes. I love it. College basketball. And great fun on a Sunday afternoon as this is going to stay with Xavier. You know, you hear all the conversation about NIL and big picture topics in the college sports world. But then you turn on a game like this and you sit courtside for a game like this. These are just 10 guys, 20 guys that want to play basketball and don't really care about any of the big picture stuff going on. That's the part of the enjoyment, no question about it. Once they nice cut and look at the pass. Philly Ball, Nunji. Perfect. Here comes the crowd. Xavier by three. Ooh. Boom in the corner. Second turnover. Normally, Pollock values that. I don't think he needed it. But you gotta let him play. Pollock the engine, thought about the wraparound pass, got it to Jones in the corner. And he's directing Pollock from the baseline. He wants it on the other side. Nice cut. Mitchell, give and go. Rebound, Fremantle. Pretty pass. 
Fremantle just gave the uh, ugly eye to Mitchell there. Here's Jones halfway through the shot clock. Xavier by three. Nice steal here. Mechie leaning, can't score. That went off of Fremantle, knocked away, and finally caught by Aguadaro. Hot potato. They got numbers here if they want. He loves that slap back three. Jones wanted to, thought better of it. Now Aguadaro from the high post. It's Jones. Missed it too strong. Tolik for the tie. No, sir. Nothing there. Boom, one on three. And they knocked away by Cola. Not a good play, though. Defensively, not a good play. One on four, you're the leader, point guard. Bring it out. You said it right then. Nothing there, and there wasn't. Cola, almost in slow motion. On the kick for Prosper, who's been quiet recently. That's short. Big down. The right spot. The gates. Suddenly, points are hard to come by. Fremantle had a notion. He can make it. Good decision. Conquer probing. Tipped out of bounds. And this is off of Xavier. Marquette Ball. Uh, a lot of windy guys right now. You like this play? It's all out there. How about the big fella doing so many good we can see if Kolik is getting the blow here. Give him a little bit of a rest. No, he's on the floor. He's going to say Prosper came out, as you noted during the break. I believe Russ came in. Chase Russ. He's out there with Joplin, Igadaro, and this man, Cam Jones, who's only had two in the second half, like Kolik. And they go that 2 3 again. And late in the shot clock, they switch to man. So they are man. Time religion. Oh. Tom Fullery. Unreal. <laughs> what he does with the ball. And again, it's a pace. He's got a pace. He can step it up, but he loves you. He's so slick with the ball. Tyler Kolick. One point game. Jones burrowing in. Try to jump pass. Fremantle for Bull. No. Nice foul. Joe. He's amazing. That's his game. His trademark. They don't get back. Igataro into Fremantle. Turning on him. Fremantle stayed with it. Oh, and down the lane. Got bumped and fouled. That's it. He does go right, but you not quite as effective. And the bump hurt. Uh, Xavier, uh, but right here, that, that was the ball fight. That is terrific. Whew. Tight the shorts. <laughs> Old woman and Jones, who just does a great job sniffing that glass. Kolick lost him there. Didn't feel him coming, and now Kolick makes the free throw. Former Atlantic 10, Rookie of the Year at George Mason. He's transferred here to Marquette, season two in the program. And he's a game changer. A coach on the floor. That's what Boom has done too for his team. If he can be solid coming down the stretch, he's made a big difference. Another miss for Marquette and Kolick at the line. Two point game. Moving down to five to go for first place in the Big East. Uh, little high low game here, I think, with Lindsay and Freeman. Trying to, they're both out high. Green for Nungi. Jones roaming. Jones missed it for two. And pulling a good D, too. Good shot. Now Marquette. Jones wants it himself for the moment. On boom, he scooped it up. No, sir. Five on four. In the corner, Tuckle. Skips it the other way, Jones. Oh. Oh, he's been playing a nice pass here. Fremantle come up empty, though. It's Ross with the defense on yeah. Fremantle. We're taking a deep breath here. Walking across the floor. He 
Exhaustion. Mm. Boone's got the pressure on him if it comes back to Kolek. This kid, you can't give him that look. Three men are late. And that's the match, too. The disadvantage, size-wise. Very fortunate for Xavier that Joplin missed. Fremantle on Iguodaro. Nunji here. Sule Boom. They gotta help him out. It's a time out. Time out. Yeah. Pretty good defensive pressure. But they are walking slowly to the huddles, aren't they? The uh, the offensive pause that refreshes. Oh, so good. He's like a good comic, Tyler Kolick. They take you one direction, and then the punchline's over here. Oh, sounds like you. Uh, I'm sorry, you must have misheard me. <laughs> nice help. Gotta go hard. Way he, can, he can jump. Ross does so. He's got some springs. Whew. You're chasing Ross. <laughs> we are tied again here in Cincinnati. Jones down the baseline. Kunkel whips it out. Sule boom. Okay. Nice find the diagonal. Jones got the quick timeout. You can hear the crowd boom. And why not? The dribble drive by Jones set this up beautifully. He can Video analyst now for the uh, Xavier Musketeers back in 1986. Jordan Crawford in the A-10. And Sule Boom now in the Big East. And he's the guy. He and Kolek will decide the outcome. It is Kolek into Nunji. Somebody's got to get free for him and throw it off him. Timeout. Usually he keeps that dribble alive and comes out of there. Once again, good defense prevails. Three-point game this afternoon. Uh, Marquette's going to inbound it here, down by three. What are you looking for? Well, Cam Jones is inbounding. They don't have big on the ball, uh, but they've been running the same. Well, simple inbound. I thought they would be tougher. I look at this open foul shot. And he pulled the string, so on a custom, they have won that, that three. Higadaro got the tip out, though, to reload. Cole in, and that ended up on the rim. It got tipped. Big hands. Make yourself taller. Xavier played 177 points worth of the game Wednesday night. Lower scoring today. Sweat everywhere on the court of Sintas Center. Nunji to steal and a foul called on the rebound action against Marquette. Yeah, Marquette didn't get down to help out there. Iguodaro did a pretty good job with Nunji. Nunji does a wonderful job, plus the extension. A terrific lead pass to the proper hand. They get Iguodaro with his fourth. Mm. Nunji missed the first. Good looking stroke, really. Mm. I just left it short. So Igadaro with four fouls, 2.24 to go. Got to play him, though. He's staying in. His second one is true. Xavier Big East, their last loss, November. Maybe to say the foul occurred prior and caused it, but I think he got away with one. Kobe Jones agrees with us. Instead, it's foul number five on Xavier. They've really done a nice job on Oso in terms of him finding people. Ola got it to the corner. Joplin rains it down. Oh, that's his game. They're going to check and see if it's a two or three. Right. James Breeding stops play. He's going to go to the monitor at 1.55 to go. By the way, didn't get a great look at it. You'd rather do that than get it wrong. Yeah, high-level game. 
extending just a little deeper three-quarter Defense has been much better in the second half both ways more effective Shot making has subsided a little bit and now Xavier into the front court with 19 in the zone again offensive rebounding flashes to the post Another man, I think. Yep. Yeah, they matched up. Here's Jones. Dancing and missing. Rebound for Igadaro. A good D. Forced a tough shot. And so Igadaro stalking Nungi down the lane. Nice touch for the tie. And they cleared out that baseline sign. Let him go to work. Big fella. Do the damage. Out of rhythm early with the foul trouble. He settled right back into the game with a minute to go here in Cincinnati. Look at a timeout. Timeout, Xavier. Sean Miller, I don't know if he wanted the timeout to get called the way he's looking there. We're tied. And he's going to run against us. They've been doing that 2 3 matchup and then switch to man to man. This looks like it's straight man. A roll of big to the rim here. Boom off the stack. Halfway through the shot clock. Little ball screen. Haven't used that of late. Good match here for Boom. Over again. Zero through a boom. How about that? Big guy afraid he was going to drive on him. Left a cushion. Shaka Smart has one timeout. Doesn't use it. And then Holy. to the corner. Prosper on the drive. Lost Freeman to the net. You almost have to yeah. foul, but you don't want to foul Boom. Now, Sule Boom is such a good free throw shooter. 28.8 to go. They could have played it straight for a little while. Yeah. And now, could have turned at least on that dribble. Uh, but the play so far of the afternoon was Boom on that ball screen. Ends up with a bigger defender and just gets them organized big time. Little cushion, oh, so right there, but big time delivery. Sule Boom had just two in the first half, and he has lit it up with 10 after halftime. His last four games, he is 29 for 32 from the free throw line. This is a one and one. 87 percent. Boy, you love your point guard. Xavier has a foul to give, and we'll see if they're up three or four. Uh, they, they got a push now, Marquette. Get a quick hitter, get themselves set defensively. They don't have to have a three, but with Kolick's ability to get a touch on the lane, he may find somebody. Hunter comes in for defense. Boom makes it a four-point lead for Xavier. Need the number. Go to the rim. Looks like they're playing straight up. Joplin on Hunter leaning in. Joplin will go to the free throw line for two shots. And Hunter paid for it, too. Really aggressive for a guy that's known as a three-point shooter. A really an aggressive move to the rim. Joplin dipped the shoulder. Hunter making sure all the canines are in place. <laughs> we, we had this the other night, showing it on the big board, the reaction. Mm -hmm. The students have turned their attention to Mr. Joplin. Very calmly sinks the first. And now you get your defense set. I would do a trap or even two before I would give one, if I had to give one. See if they go all out, big on the ball. Oso is out, and so is Kolek. So they got a speed unit out there. With a timeout if they need to substitute. Down the line here, Joplin, a deep breath, and the sophomore got it. Big time delivery. Marquette would prefer not to foul Sule Boom, and that's why the ball goes right into him. There's your first trap. He's got the foul. There you go. Mitchell, I don't, like, I don't mind that at all. No, you don't want Boom to get fouled, yeah, right? Extend, extend the clock, get it out of his hands. 
And Kunkel, while a tremendous marksman, has only taken 19 free throws all year. He's 16 for 19. 84%. Pretty impressive, though. This is a gutsy kid, though. The driver of the energy for Xavier. Sometimes Kunkel at the line. First free throw is good. No question. Got a lot of spark in life for this team. Same thing, I think, if you're Marquette. Push, get a quick one. Go to the rim. Pull up into the front court. It's a three. It's no good. Rebound down middle of the lane. Prosper for two. Eight seconds and a timeout. Shaka Smart, his last one in again a two-point game. Yeah, totally taken that. If they don't make that come up that rebound, they would be in trouble. The ball was zoned it up. Jones to inbound. Eight seconds to go. No timeouts for either team. Boom can't break free. Now he does, and he's hit and fouled. He went left and then came back right. Your point well taken, though. He just understands how to get himself a position to get a pass. Terrific. That was a key play for them. Sule Boom only two points at halftime, but he has been lethal in the second half. He's a gamer. That was a big play, that pull-up jumper he made. The ball straight, a little sidestep here. Some nylon. And again, the cut to find Dungey, who was alert enough to break the D down. And uh, just one shot. This is where I own the guy, the big fella. Seeching uh, him a little bit. The effort we've seen today spilling out here at the Sintas Center. Free throw, one and one, good. Well, you can see he's worked hard on that part of his game. Shirts are optional. Intensity <laughs> is not. And of course, now if you're Xavier, you don't want to foul. You want to make them use the floor a little bit. Use some clock, but don't let them turn the corner on you. Jones with a speed dribble now. Here comes Cam Jones. Into the front court with four. His heave is no good. Rebound spiked down, and Xavier wins again. The Musketeers will not lose in the Big East this year to this point.